Today on Rare Spirits and Gear, we check out the A24 Metal Front Guitar from Zamatis. Zamatis have been making guitars since 1955, and the metal front guitar is really their claim to fame and is most notable for being used by guys like Keith Richards and Ron Wood in the Rolling Stones in the 1970s. This is a very robust and heavy guitar. Not too heavy, just a little heavy. And this is a really cool piece of art and craftsmanship, and just, it's a big rock machine all wrapped up into one nice, neat package. So first, let's see how it sounds in a mix. Next, we are going to do a little old fashioned playthrough. I'm going through a Mesa Boogie Triple Crown amplifier straight in into a Torpedo Studio from Two Notes using a Mesa Boogie 412 cabinet impulse. And what you are hearing is just coming from the amp. You're gonna hear a little bit of reverb on the clean tones. And then I'm just gonna flip through the pickups and then kind of go through each of the amp's three channels to give you a, kind of an idea of what this sounds like just in a casual playing situation. This guitar is throaty and it is not, it doesn't have a ton of high end. This is an all mahogany guitar. So it is, it is very, it's very big. It's very thick and meaty, girthy, if I may say so. So let's check out the playthrough.
The Zematis A24MF is a 25 inch scale, which is important because it has the slinkiness of a Les Paul, but not quite the tension of something like a Fender. This is a PRS scale, if I may, and it is very, very comfortable. I would call the neck on this a thinner C profile. It's definitely not a D. It doesn't feel super wide. It's, it's very comfortable in the head and I didn't feel it to be very fatiguing over long periods of time playing this. This is a very hefty instrument. This is a very well put together instrument and the overall fit and finish is very impressive. Um, the knobs feel great to turn. The, uh, the aesthetic of the knobs themselves just go right along with the guitar. The huge bridge um, has a lot of mass. It's solid aluminum. Uh, really contributes to this guitar sustaining for years. Being sarcastic, it sustains for a long time though. And the overall resonant quality of this guitar is huge. It's very loud when you play it just acoustically. And notes kind of pop with a real nice toppy high end. I really like this guitar, you know, it's uh, it's just a solid rock machine. I mean, there's no other way to really describe this guitar. It is not a carved top, it is a flat top, which I dig. I like the ornate uh, engraving. A lot of people kind of seem to be turned off by the engraving, you know, this is an acquired taste, I guess. I think it's really beautiful and really nicely done. And it just is kind of something a little different than your regular run of the mill guitar. And I really, really like it. For all applicable information, links down below in the description. You've been wonderful, I've been a fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.